All right, good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Oklahoma Virtual College Fair. As everyone begins to kind of make their way into this room, a few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. This is just one of many different sessions that are happening, so please be sure to sign up for additional ones. And this presentation is being recorded and will be available in about a week's time at the same website where you initially registered. I'd now like to turn it over to our presenters and get underway and we'll start with Oklahoma State University. All right, guys, welcome. Thank you guys for joining us tonight. Uh, my name is Coping Combs and I'm one of the admissions counselors here at Oklahoma State. Um, we do have a colleague, uh, Darian Schieber. She is joining us as well for any Q and A. So if you guys have questions throughout this, we will be with you guys for the next 45 minutes or so, but I am gonna go ahead and share my screen and make sure that you guys are getting some great information for us. So main thing I wanna let you guys know about is that we are Oklahoma State University in Stillwater, Oklahoma. That's a big uh, factor for you guys. Uh, we get some confusion on that. And um, there's a giant pistol Pete right there to start things off. So that's always great. Um, some of the nuts and bolts that I wanna talk about for you guys is that our application is um, on our website. So there's some of the documents that are required for you guys. Uh, it is $40 to apply. And we also have an application fee waiver if you guys are on any of those um, free reduced lunches in your high school. The official high school transcript is needed and we are we will take your test scores but we are test optional for admission purposes so if you guys have not tested yet feel free to apply without a test score we will be using test scores for scholarship purposes but right now we definitely want you guys to go ahead and apply without that test score on file we'll scroll down here and what's really cool about our application is when you apply to osu that is your scholarship application so we really kind of kill two birds with one stone for you guys. We want you guys to complete essays. The essays are only 300 words or less and they're unique to our application. So we're gonna get to know you a little bit more instead of just looking at that test score and GPA. We also have a leadership resume and it's called leadership and involvement experience. So for you guys, you could do anything from cheer, sports, band. You could do everything if you work with maybe 40 hours, maybe you do stuff with your church for community service, anything and everything, please let us know. Again, because we use that for scholarship information. So don't be humble, brag about yourself as much as possible. You guys can see in that big paragraph there that February 1st is our scholarship deadline. So please keep that in mind. However, we will start giving scholarships out as early as December. So it's no reason not to apply. If you guys are looking at us and considering us, that would be a very big help for you guys. Probably the most popular question I hear though is like, what's it take to get into OSU? How does that work? I uh, just mentioned test optional. So on the right hand side, you guys can look and see our assured admission criteria. If you meet one of those three criteria, you're automatically admitted. So welcome to the Cowboy family. You're good to go on everything that way. We have our GPA and class rank there. You also have just a test score and then you have the combination of the two. Maybe you're sitting there and you're not happy with your test score, or maybe you just had a rough freshman year and you're not pleased with your GPA. On the left hand side, you guys can see some of the description about our comprehensive review. So we are going to review those essays you wrote. We're going to look at the GPA and if you have a test score, we'll look at it. But if you don't, you can just indicate that on your application that you do not have a test score and go forward that way. So it's really helpful for you guys. And um, we will go through the whole process again, review process. It's not going to just be look at you real quick and make that decision unless you meet that assured criteria and it'll be very quick for you guys. These are some of our costs for a year. Definitely want to let you guys know about that. That would be without any help whatsoever. No questions asked, you know, no, no scholarships, no anything. Um, you can manipulate that room and board by getting cheaper costs, but that tuition fees is pretty standard. But I'm about to switch over and show you guys some of our scholarships with that information to kind of get that feel for it all. But I want to make sure you guys knew about this. If you guys are taking notes or if you are just taking pictures, take a screenshot of this page real quick, at least a screenshot or taking some notes. We have a lot of dates coming up and I can't, I don't have enough time to go through all of them. But if you keep everything in a domino effect, it's very smooth for you guys. So I want to make sure that we are keeping that aware. There's also um, like three or four of the three things on the February 1st. So I'll go down a little bit for that too. Um, but again, scholarship deadline, February 1st, but it really is beneficial for you guys to apply early and get that going. I don't have time to go through all of our majors, but we have over 200 majors. So if you guys know what you want to do, 
please let us know. If you have questions about that, that's what that Q&A box is gonna be great for to answer those questions. If we don't know the exact answer, we can connect you with somebody. I'm gonna switch over here to our scholarship chart. This is something we just came out with and we are very proud that we now have a GPA only scholarship. So for you guys that even struggle with your ACT or have not taken the ACT, we will hopefully get you guys a scholarship just based on that GPA and that is gonna be good for four years. If you have taken the ACT or if you are planning on taking it, you can use this as a chart. I will um, be gladly include this in our q and if you guys ask for this too. So don't think you have to get all this memorized. But if you wanna take a screenshot, super helpful for you all. We will take those updated test scores until July 1st after you graduate. So remember that, that you can have so much fun on those things. Some last things I wanna make sure I get over before I run out of time is we are holding campus tours. So please come see us 9.30 a.m. Monday through Friday. And then on Friday, there's an afternoon tour at 1.30. Again, I can include these links for you guys as well on the Q&A box. Um, so if you have any questions about that, please come see campus. We really love that. And then I mentioned I'm an admissions counselor. We have admissions counselors for across the state. So I'm in charge of Southwest Oklahoma and the Wichita Falls area in Texas. Darian Schieber, she is in Northwest Oklahoma. We also have them in DFW area, but we really have them in Oklahoma City, Tulsa. We have a lot of admissions counselors, a lot of great resources for you all. So please um, keep us as a resource. We love to help you guys out as much as we possibly can. Those are the big things I wanna tell you guys about. If y'all have any questions throughout this, again, please let us know. We wanna see you guys on campus tour though. I'll put that up again, 9.30, 1.30. You can bring one guest and you'll get to see the dorms. You just have to wear a face mask inside the dorms. We will have some virtual events too. I know we're on a virtual event, but I'd love to see you guys on campus more than anything. Hope to hope you guys have a lot of questions in the Q&A, but I will turn it over to the next presenter now. Thank you guys so much. Go folks. Great, thank you so much. And up next is Connor State College. Thank you, how are you guys? I hope everyone is having a good evening. Um, I do wanna preface a little bit before I get started here. Um, my office is right outside our baseball stadium and they are scrimmaging right now. So every now and then it gets a little loud from the baseball stadium. Um, so like I said, my name is Chandler Young. I have been the assistant director here at Connors for two years. I graduated from here in 2015, um, went on, did a couple different things and got the opportunity to come back here. Um, I love to represent this school. So CSC is a two-year junior college, um, smack dab in the middle of nowhere. It's a rural country, um, but there's a lot here that the school has to offer. So we have two campuses. Our main campus is in Warner, Oklahoma, and then we have a port campus in Muskogee, Oklahoma. Um, Muskogee, the port campus, houses a lot of our healthcare options, our nursing program, OTA, PTA, and pre-dental. At the Warner campus, that is where a lot of our other majors and a lot of our agriculture majors are. Here at Connor State College, we have 37 major options, 13 of which are agriculture options, anything from um, bioscience, mathematics, pre-law, um, all the way down to general studies. We do have um, some competitive sports here on campus. Um, recruiting for these have been a little bit different this year. So if it's something you guys are thinking about, um, playing sports, anything in a collegiate level and you're wanting to come to Connor State College, definitely get in contact with us now. The coaches are gonna have to do more of a um, personal recruitment season this year. So anything from baseball, men's and women's basketball, softball, cheer and dance, um, men's and women's cross country, livestock showing, judging, archery, and shooting team sports. So if you guys are interested in any of those, definitely hop over to the Q&A and I will give you some information to get in contact with recruiters for those teams. Um, as for dorms here on campus, we have two dorms. So one is Miller's Crossing. It's a three level dorm. It is both genders. Um, so it is a quad style, suite style living. You do have your own private bedroom and bathroom vanity. The other dormitory is McLaren's Hall. It's an all boys dorm. 
So that is where baseball and basketball and any leftover boys that don't, we don't get squeezed into Miller's Crossing get to be housed at. Um, and big thing that I wanna talk to you guys about is going ahead and applying. So we do have open applications right now. Um, and you can go to our website at connorstate.edu, two S's in the middle of Connor State. And there is a big orange square on the front screen there that you can apply. Um, once we get that going, we can get some of your documents from you, anything from um, ACT scores to high school transcripts. If you've gone to concurrent classes, we'll have those concurrent trans transcripts and your shot records. Um, so like previously stated, right now with the, some of the testing dates getting pushed back, we are not um, big panicking on the ACT scores right now, but some of those transcripts and other documents like that, we will need to get those in place. Um, another big thing I would like to say is we are having tours here on campus. Um, we are doing group tours or individual tours. We do tours Monday through Friday at 9.30 and at 2. So if you guys need a tour, you can go to our website at connorstate.edu under recruitment department and you can connect with us there. Um, lastly, I would just like to say to keep up with us, we post a lot of events, deadlines, important dates, anything that has that updates here on the college, we update our social media. So you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube at Connor State or at Instagram for CSC Recruits. If you guys have any questions, I will be in the Q&A. Thanks guys for joining. Thanks so much. And up next is Northern Oklahoma College. Hey guys, we are so happy to have you guys here with us this evening. Northern Oklahoma College is a multi-campus institution and I would like to share a little bit about that with you now. in the workforce. Yeah, I was at a four-year college before coming here. My mom graduated from the NSC nursing program and kept pushing it because she loved it. I'm just really thankful that NSC was an option for me. Probably the most affordable college. I feel really comfortable and I feel like the teachers that's here, we have great staff and they can one-on-one us after class or even before class and we can always go to their office. I love that the class sizes are smaller. The instructor was really accessible, even if it wasn't one-on-one -on -one time in class, we still knew how to get a hold of them. The classroom sizes are small. I was able to connect one-on-one -on -one with my instructors. It's really impacted my life positively because that's one more thing I don't have to worry about. It really drove me to do better in school because I had to have access to my instructors. Northern Oklahoma College has a long history of providing college students with the highest quality, accessible, and affordable education. Founded in 1901, Northern is the state's first public community college and a land-grant institution. Northern serves over 5,800 students on our home campus in Tonkawa, Branch, and Enid, and through the NOC OSU Gateway Program in Stillwater. NOC was nationally recognized as one of the top 150 U.S. community colleges in recognition of our high achievement and performance in teaching and learning, degree completion, and success in the workplace. NOC offers a wide variety of associate degree options and certificate degree options and multi-course formats with options to match your learning style with convenient and flexible scheduling for a traditional in-person, online, and blended live online classes. NOC students have opportunities such as intercollegiate varsity sports, competitive programs, fine arts, and student activities to enhance their ability to achieve excellence at Northern. NOC remains a great value to students and their families through financial aid and scholarship opportunities to those who qualify. And with a large percentage of our NOC faculty possessing advanced degrees such as master's and doctorate degrees along with professional licenses, students are ensured to receive a superior education while enjoying a small campus feeling with big campus resources. At Northern, we are committed to providing the highest level of service in a supportive and safe environment with individual attention. Our students, faculty, and staff give our three locations distinct character, and they make a difference to the thousands of individuals who achieve their goals at Northern.
Welcome to Northern Oklahoma College. Six out of 10 people at NOC are first generation students. NOC was selected by the Aspen Institute as one of the top 150 community colleges in the country. And in fact, was narrowed down to one of the top 50 community colleges in the nation. Why should you choose Northern? because attending one of the most affordable, top-ranked community colleges will be a life-changing experience. So I wanted to introduce you to our three campuses um, because each one are very distinct and have their own character. I'd like to show you our website, www.noc.edu, and encourage you to go to students and future students, because at that particular link, you'll see the three checklists for our various campuses, Tonkwa, Enid, and Stillwater. You will also be able to schedule an appointment to take an in-person tour, or we do offer Zoom tours. Blair Turney is our Tonkawa um, representative, Terry Sunderland, our Enid representative, and Diana Watkins, our representative in Stillwater. I would also encourage you to make sure that you take a look at our cost comparison sheet because each one of the campuses has a separate tuition and fee structure. Also on this part of our website, you will find information concerning scholarships. You'll find how to apply for federal financial aid and any testing that you might be needing to do, you'll be able to do that as well. Um, there will be three of us in the chat room if you have got questions. I hope you've enjoyed this little bit of time with Northern Oklahoma College because we are certainly ready to help you achieve your dreams at this life-changing institution. Have a great evening and we're here to answer your questions. Thank you so much, Rick. As we're about halfway through our presentations, just a reminder that the Q&A feature is available to ask specific questions of any institutions that you've heard of or more general ones that we'll address at the end of the evening. Up next is Fort Lewis College. Hey everybody, this is Michael Hellman, Admissions Counselor at Fort Lewis College. I'm gonna share my screen real quick with you guys and tell you a little bit about Fort Lewis in beautiful Durango, Colorado. Um, so Fort Lewis said we are powered by place I'll tell you a little bit what that means. Um, you see some basic stats. We are a small college. Um, been that way for a while. We are also a majority minority institution. So if diversity is important to you on a, on a campus, definitely take a look at Fort Lewis. We have 173 Native American tribes and Alaska Native villages represented. We also have pretty close to an even split between in-state and out-of-state uh, students. Um, and so this is, this is a college where people come from all over um, for a number of reasons, um, but we are definitely up at elevation in the mountains. If you enjoy Durango living, um, you know, hiking, mountain biking, whitewater rafting, fishing, those sorts of activities, Fort Lewis is definitely for you. Uh, here you'll see a little bit about what it means to attend a university or a college that is a little bit smaller with about 3,500 students. So it means you're gonna get individualized attention in your classes and outside of classes. So whether that's working on your skills at our writing center, getting math tutoring, meeting with a professor um, for one-on-one -on -one support, exploring careers within that field, or just kind of nerding out about the subject that you're really passionate about, you can do it here at Fort Lewis. Um, about uh, nearly 80% of our classes have 30 or fewer students and all of our classes are taught by faculty members. Um, this is a primarily undergraduate institution and so all those research opportunities are focused on our undergraduates as well. You can have a lot of different areas to choose from. Um, I'm gonna keep the slide up for just a little bit, but um, I'd like to highlight our biology program, our engineering program, our adventure education program, and our business program. Specifically in business, we give our seniors the opportunity to compete to run their own franchise partnership with, through a partnership with Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory. Um, we also run our own version of Shark Tank called Hawk Tank, where students get to pitch their own entrepreneurial ideas in, in order to potentially receive funding for their own dreams. Um, but as you can see, there are a lot of different options to choose from here at Fort Lewis. Now, one of the things that makes us a little bit different is that we offer um, a lot of experiential learning. So we highly encourage students to study abroad and we try and really get students out and about. This is especially true given Durango's natural resources. 
Um, we've got a lot of beautiful terrain. And so whether you're a geo major looking at, um, you know, how things have evolved here, right? Or a biology major looking at, you know, local ecosystems and studying that, um, we really try and get students outside of class, engaged with the material and really, you know, putting their education to use in a way that doesn't just involve reading and studying a textbook. Um, and, you know, extends to our extracurriculars as well. Um, got about 60 different clubs on campus. We compete at the division two level. We are currently the number three mountain biking team in the nation. Um, if you are interested in mountain biking, this is definitely the place for you. I personally am terrified of mountain biking. I like to be on my own two feet, but um, you know, if you like to hike, if you like to ski, you know, if you just like to hang out with friends, if you like to sort of nerd out about a particular interest, right? Or if you've got a particular culture or community that you're passionate about representing, these are all things that Fort Lewis definitely supports you in. And so you've got a lot of different ways to get involved. In terms of admissions, um, like other schools have mentioned with their own um, policies, we are test optional as well. Um, here's an outline of our merit scholarships. Um, you can see they get progressively better um, from $6,000 to $10,000 for our out-of-state students. If you look at that column on the right, um, we try and make the, our education affordable for everyone. And so our, our scholarships really go a long way towards that. Um, in addition, we are one of two colleges in the nation that offers a Native American tuition waiver. So if you, if if you show us um, proof of enrollment in a tribe, and there are a couple different ways to, to prove that as well, we waive your tuition here at Fort Lewis. Um, we're strongly committed to, um, to our promise to our Native American students. That's why 41% of our undergraduate um, body is Native American. Um, and we are, you know, we've been doing this for, for a long time. It's not the only scholarship we offer, but it's one I'd like to highlight here as well. Got a couple different ones, both through our foundation, through our merit-based and a couple, a couple others, which we can speak about individually as well. Um, highly encourage you guys, if you're interested, contact me and I can get that process started for you. Um, the, this is our, our call break. You'll notice you guys are in that out-of-state column on the right. Um, we have a one-year live-on requirement. Um, for our incoming freshmen. After that, um, we have about 41% of our students, um, or 42%, um, excuse me, live on campus. So pretty close to an even split, whether you choose to live in town, you know, rent an apartment with a bunch of your friends, or whether you choose to um, live on campus. Currently, we are doing in-person classes, and the reason we're able to do it is because we have a grand total of one active case on campus. We had zero for most of uh, September, and, you know, things are pretty low. Wearing the mask to highlight just Fort Lewis's commitment to safety on campus. Um, you know, we are, we are making sure that no student is, for example, forced to go to an in-person class if they're not comfortable. We do symptom checking, um, contact tracing, and we really, really, really are proud of our ability to keep numbers down, um, both on campus and within the Durango community at large. Um, these are, this is your cost breakdown though. Um, and my job is essentially to take that cost and to make it lower for you guys through scholarships and grants. And so I highly encourage you to reach out to me. I'm responsible for Oklahoma um, or to any of our other wonderful admission counselors. Um, you know, you'll, you'll see if you visit camp, we, we do offer tours right now on campus and if you were to come to campus, you'll see just what a wonderful place Durango is, what a great place it is to attend college, even if you are not outdoorsy in the slightest. If you just enjoy being in a high mountain town, enjoying you know, that small town vibe, getting a bunch of individualized attention in your classes, along with a high quality education, this is definitely the place for you. So I really encourage you guys um, to come check out Fort Lewis. Um, I'm going to be available in the chat for the rest of the session and I'll be able to answer any and all of your questions and I really encourage you to give us a look. Great. Thanks so much, Michael. Up next is the University of North Texas. Hello everyone. My name is Hanan and I am an admission counselor with the University of North Texas. Our university is located in Denton and we have another campus in Frisco. Denton is considered one of the best college towns 
and it's one of the small towns uh, in, in the United States in general. Our, on our other campus is in Frisco, which is one of the best cities for jobs after graduation in 2020. Both Denton and Frisco are located in the Fort Worth, Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex, which is the home of 24 Fortune 500 companies. Three of those are in the top 10 in the, in, in the nation. That can translate for great job opportunities and internships for you in the future. The University of North Texas was founded in 1890, and we actually celebrated our 130th anniversary just this last September. We are considered a Carnegie classified tier one research university. We have more than 40,000 students, and we offer more than 425 student organizations. We are considered a Hispanic serving institution and a Purple Heart institution. The retention rate for our freshman students is 82%. There are 230 programs at the University of North Texas. From those, 106 are bachelor degrees. We have 89 academic programs that are ranked among the nation's top 100. I'm going to highlight a few of those right now. Aviation logistics is the first in the USA, as well as consumer experience management and emergency administration and planning. Our jazz studies is considered the, the first in Texas and the second in the United States. Communication design is considered the first in the Southwest USA. Some more highly ranked programs in the top 10 in the nation, merchandising, fashion design, and marketing in the top 25 elementary education, hospitality management, logistic, and supply chain management. We offer plenty of student support services here at UNT to ensure that you are succeeding in your college experience. Some of those services include academic support, well-being and safety, global citizenship, career and leadership, engagement and persistence. So for the freshman admission and application process, you will start first by applying at applytexas.org or the Common App, and then you will submit your official high school transcripts. We are test optional as well, but we really encourage you to submit the SAT or ACT if you have them. We have a guaranteed admission policy, which means if you meet certain requirements, you will be automatically admitted. If not, we will definitely be reviewing your application individually and still consider you for admission. The guaranteed admission requirements are being in the top 10% in your class or being in the next 15%, but with that we will want a 1030 SAT or 20 ACT. If you are in the second quarter, we will want 1130 SAT or 23 ACT. If you are in the third quarter, we will want 1250 50 SAT or 26 ACT. Also, if you have a cumulative high school GPA of 3.0 or higher unweighted, you are also guaranteed admission to our university. So the cost of attendance at UNT. For in-state students, the cost of attendance, the estimate for one year, if you are taking 15 credits per semester, is about 25K. For out-of-state students, the number jumps to around 30, 38K. Oklahoma students have special tuition rates at UNT. So you will be saving about 5,500 per semester compared to an out-of-state student, uh, to any other out-of-state student. So you will be paying very close rates to the in-state students. And that's actually just like a ticket price and there are still a lot of options to get this number lower. UNT offers more than $405 million in financial aid and scholarships. And actually 75% of our students get either some sort of financial aid or scholarship or combination of both. Some of the ways to get those um, financial support or scholarships is applying for FAFSA and then applying for our general scholarship application. We have our UNT Excellence Scholarship for Freshmen. It can range from 1,000 to 10,000 per year. We have our Multicultural Scholarship a scholastic award, we have our National Merit Scholarship and many other that you will have access to once you apply to the general scholarship application. We have plenty of events that are going on, some virtual, some on campus. So if you'd like to learn more about UNT, 
please check our virtual fall preview. We will have a session on October 24th and another on no November 14th. We also offer campus tours. Those can be offered virtual and in person. You are welcome to check our website to see them. And here is our contact information if you would like to reach to any of us. And definitely you can drop any questions in the chat and I'll be happy to respond to them. Thank you so much. Great, thank you. After our final presentation, we'll transition to Q&A, so certainly feel free to submit any of those questions that you have right now. But first, we're pleased to welcome the University of Arkansas. All right, uh, hey there everybody. My name is Tyler Simpson from the University of Arkansas. I am the admissions counselor for the Oklahoma Territory, uh, so I'm super excited to be able to talk to you guys, and I have some pretty exciting stuff to share. Uh, so without dragging along too much, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. Here we go. Make sure we full screen this thing. All right, perfect. Uh, so really the first thing I want y'all to know about the University of Arkansas uh, is that it is a wonderful place to be. Uh, first and foremost, we are a nationally competitive research institution, right? Uh, we are the land grant flagship University of Arkansas, so we are really proud of who we are. There's a lot of uh, tradition, a lot of history here at the U of A. Uh, we were originally founded back in 1871, so we've been around for quite some time. Uh, if you don't know, uh, we are located in Fayetteville, Arkansas, which is actually ranked one of the top five best places to live in the entire nation, right? And that's among some really huge metropolitan areas, you know, think like uh, Denver, Colorado, Austin, Texas, stuff like that we're competing. Uh, I really chalk that up to the kind of fun, funky, outdoor-centric culture we have in Fayetteville. Uh, but also, you know, Walmart's pretty close. Uh, their headquarters is here, which gives us access to, you know, 300 of the Fortune 500 companies. So if you are interested in business, uh, the University of Arkansas is definitely a great place to be. Um, we're also located, you know, right smack dab in the middle of the Ozark Mountains. So we are kind of right where, uh, you know, what makes the natural state the natural state. So if you are interested in the outdoors at all, it's definitely a great place to be. Uh, I do want to touch on some of the fun stuff, uh, as well as, you know, some of the down and dirty school stuff at the University of Arkansas. Uh, you know, there's over 400 student organizations here. Uh, I definitely pride myself on knowing that there's something for everybody at the University of Arkansas. Whether you are looking for a kind of standard club or organization, you know, like a hobby club or a religious club or a um, academic club, uh, there's definitely something for you there. If you're interested in playing sports, uh, you know, intramural sports teams, club sports teams, uh, we've got a bass fishing team, a trap shooting team, we have a Quidditch team if that's something you're interested in. Uh, we actually had a group of students last week who were super interested in starting a underwater basket weaving club that, you know, you could definitely be a part of that. Um, but I say that to say that, um, you know, there is something for everybody. And if you do want to start your own club, you can definitely do that at the U of A. You know, at the uh, school side of things, you know, the education side of things, we have over 200 degree programs, you know, and they range from your bachelor's all the way up to your doctorate. So if you want to run the whole gambit of your education at the University of Arkansas, you can definitely do that. Um, all of our undergraduate programs are going to have uh, eight semester degree plans, except for two, right? Um, so the vast majority of those are going to have eight semester degree plans. We know that your time is valuable, uh, so we definitely want you to be uh, in and out of college on the time that uh, you want to be standing in college. We know that, you know, college is the next step in your future. So uh, we know that you have big plans to uh, go land your dream job or move on to your master's, stuff like that. Uh, I also do want to touch on our student faculty ratio, right? Uh, we do keep a smaller student faculty ratio, even though we are a pretty large campus, you know, just under 28,000 students. Now uh, we keep that 18 to one student to faculty ratio because we think it's so valuable for you guys to be able to um, have close access to your uh, instructors and also to your fellow students as well. Uh, we think that uh, having smaller classes really allows you uh, easier access to meet with your fellow Razorbacks. Uh, I do also wanna to touch on uh, one of my favorite traditions at the University of Arkansas, which is senior walk. Uh, we have four miles of sidewalk and we're constantly adding to that uh, with some names of famous Razorbacks. Uh, that have been here in the past, right? Uh, every single folk that gets a degree at the University of Arkansas gets their name etched into that concrete forever. Uh, so if you choose to go to the University of Arkansas, your name's gonna be etched in stone forever. If you get two degrees from the U of A, your name's gonna be on there twice, uh, which is definitely awesome, something to think about. 
there are some uh, big changes that have happened this year that I do want to touch on, right? Uh, some of our dates have got pushed back a little bit. Uh, so really what I want you to know is that November 15th, that's going to be our priority application deadline. We actually admit around 80% of our students before this date. So if you are interested in attending the University of Arkansas, definitely, definitely log into apply.uark.edu. Uh, you can do it fully online. The application is live now, but do note that November 15th, it's gonna be that priority application deadline. Uh, just after that, December 1st is gonna be the priority scholarship deadline. Uh, that is uh, pushed back just a little bit. Uh, so make sure you're getting all your scholarship materials submitted before then. And then December 15th is going to be that final priority, excuse me, priority financial aid deadline. Uh, I do also want to touch on uh, some of our testing policies, right? We know that uh, testing has become uh, difficult to get into here in the United States recently, uh, and we don't want that to be an inhibiting factor that keeps you from uh, applying to the University of Arkansas or attending the University of Arkansas. So uh, we have adopted uh, test optional and test flexible policies uh, to work with y'all. Uh, you know, it's GPA dependent. Uh, we may need test scores uh, depending on your GPA, but uh, if you are interested at all in any of those uh, test optional, test flexible policies, definitely uh, drop a question in the Q&A and I'd love to get into that a little bit more. I also wanna share my contact information with you guys. Uh, if you can take a screenshot of this, uh, you can reach me via any of these contact methods and I'd love to reach out to you. Uh, one big thing before uh, we transition over is I do want to talk about an exclusive opportunity for my out-of-state students. Uh, that's called the NRTA or the New Arkansas Non-Resident Tuition Award. Uh, it's an automatic award uh, that is up to a 90% reduction in the out-of-state portion of tuition. Uh, so uh, it's definitely a huge opportunity. We've actually waived the test score requirement for that this year. Uh, so it's definitely going to be big for our students coming in in 2021. Uh, it's automatically applied to your account. There's nothing that you need to uh, do extra to receive the NRTA. Uh, just know that uh, whenever you are applying uh, from out-of-state, you are considered for the NRTA. Uh, and that is all the time I have, but uh, please do take a screenshot of this and I will answer any questions that pop up in the question and answer box. Woo pig suey. Have a great night. Thanks so much, Tyler. As you mentioned, please don't be afraid to submit any questions that you have into the Q&A portion. Um, and while we wait for any of those to come in, if we want to have everyone come back and kind of start off the Q&A, um, with actually we have a, a good question that just came in that everyone can answer and it's actually pretty close to what I was going to ask. Um, what's the best thing about your campus, something that that makes it stand out and I would also add like when people get the chance to visit your campus, whether you're offering them or not, where's that that one place that they should make sure they see. Um, so if everyone wants to come back and answer that and we can go in the order we originally presented as well. Okay, yeah, I can start. Yeah, great question on that. I think every campus has something unique to offer. Why um, I did go to school at OSU and graduated from OSU. Why it stood out to me was just the really the big campus, but it was a family feel. You got really, you dove into all of your student organizations. They had all the great resources for all of your studies, but they still had that, the Big 12 Division One with all the athletes. So it felt kind of like bigger than you thought, but then also it was very, small town family feel no matter where you go in town though um, it's all osu focused so it's a very friendly college town and friendly is a key word too we smile a lot uh, you don't see many people that are unhappy to be in stillwater when they're here I it. So I would say my favorite part about our campus is that it is a smaller school. And so there are not, it's not very separated. Everybody kind of works together. Everyone hangs out with everyone. Um, but I would say my favorite specific spot on campus would be, we have a museum that was all the original stuff when Connors was started back in 1908 inside the student union. And it's just a really cool, quiet place to kind of Hang out and collect your thoughts during the day. I would say for the University of North Texas, one of the nicest places that I really want students to come and visit is the Murkison Performing Arts Center. It's like where our college of music plays a lot of music. Our college of music is really ranked among the top in the nation. We play more than a thousand concerts a year and it's a very, very nice place to look at and to visit even from the inside. 
Um, I graduated from Northern Oklahoma College. Um, and so it's been so nice to see how the campus has grown since I was a student here. And I really like being able to see the sheep farm. I, I am just constantly amazed at what they do and, and the relationship that they have with Oklahoma State University in terms of doing research. Um, also love the fine arts. In Enid, we have a, um, a telescope. And uh, so students can actually get onto the telescope and do astronomical research, which I think is really cool in the Enid area. And then of course, if you're looking for a small campus feel on a large campus, that's what our um, NOC OSU gateway program is. I'm also an Oklahoma State University grad, so go folks. At Fort Lewis, I'm really proud of the um, the outdoor resources available near our campus for every student. So we are within a couple hours of about half a dozen national parks, uh, under an hour from Mesa Verde National Park in particular. Um, we're also a couple hours away from about a dozen 14,000 foot peaks. Um, we really put that both into our curriculum and into our sort of perks for students. So we give all our incoming freshmen a season pass to Purgatory Ski Resort. And we've got, you know, um, rentals for any type of gear you could imagine. So whether it's skis, you know, axes for ice climbing, crampons, things like that, fishing rods. We really make the outdoors accessible to everybody. And we have so many things just within, you know, everything from 20 minutes um, of us to a few hours. I mean, we got everything from hot weather desert environments to snowy peaks. We got all sorts of resources for our students. Uh, I guess I'm last. Uh, what I would think is uh, the best thing about the University of Arkansas campus is the uh, sense of community that's present on the campus. You know, uh, it's hard to go uh, anywhere at the U of A without seeing, uh, you know, a group of Razorbacks that's uh, all together having a good time, whether it is, uh, you know, one of our student organizations or just some friends out at the park. Uh, there's plenty of opportunities for you guys to you know, meet new friends, uh, make new connections here at the University of Arkansas. And uh, we definitely do a lot to facilitate that. Uh, it looks a little bit more virtual these days, but uh, we hope that it gets back to normal in the future. Um, a specific spot on campus, uh, there, uh, it, outside of our football stadium, there is a huge fountain um, with a wild band of Razorbacks. Uh, it definitely uh, sets me on fire. I know I might be the outcast here, the hog fan, but uh, it definitely, uh, gets me going a little bit. So, woo pig suey. Thank you all so much. Um, we are running out of time right now. Um, for our presenters, there are a few questions in the answer that maybe you'd like to, to answer specifically. And we do have about a moment left um, if you'd like to type an answer to those students. Um, but for right now, I will just say to all of our viewers to thank you for joining us. We really appreciate you spending your time with us. Um, when this webinar ends, there will be a link to a very quick four question survey and we would appreciate any feedback that you can provide. Also, this was just one of many sessions that were being hosted. So be sure to sign up for additional sessions um, at the same website where you initially registered. And then about a week's time on that same website, you'll be able to find a recording as well of this session, as well as all other ones that take part of this virtual college fair. If you didn't receive an answer to the questions that you submitted, um, we certainly apologize, but we'll be providing them and hopefully can be in touch soon. And many of the presenters also shared their contact information as well. So thanks so much for joining us and have a great evening.